Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with an art cart tour. So um, before I get into all of that, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. I also leave notification information on my Instagram page. I'll be sure to put that link in the description box. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna get into this as best I can. I'm like actually holding um, my tripod in my hand to try to give you guys a tour of my adult coloring card. I watched Chelsea Jade Murray's um, tour. I thought it was so cute. I was like, oh, I want to do one. So that's the um, inspiration behind me doing this one. Um, just real quick to go over a couple of quick things. Um, some little housekeeping. I have been um, adult coloring for like a year now, I believe. I believe it's been a year. And... By no means am I a professional at all whatsoever. I constantly ask people, you know, for any suggestions, for any tips. Um, also, this cart basically is holding a lot of storage, I guess you can say. I don't in particularly use a lot of these things each and every time I color besides the alcohol markers. Everything else I probably would say I would use just a few times in a month. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. I think that's basically it. So I'm just gonna get started. I'm not gonna list any of the items in the description box. If you have a question about anything, just let me know in the comments. Uh, but for the most part, I will be naming where I got everything. Uh, but it's quite a bit to actually put in the, de in the description box. So let's get started. So first things first, I have these Shuttle Art alcohol markers. I've shown these on my page before. And basically what these are are skin tone alcohol markers. And they're dual tip. I got those from Amazon. And then I also have, I'm gonna move this, and you guys have to forgive me in advance with this whole camera holding. I have this little roller here. This is for my diamond painting. I do diamond paintings quite often and I use this to roll over my diamond paintings once they're finished, just to make sure that they're sealed down and snapped into place correctly. Um, ooh, ooh. Chelsea made this look so easy, I'm sorry. Mess. And here I have, is this not the cutest little thing? It's a little pencil pouch. And I have metallic gel pens in here, but I thought the case was so cute. I got it from Michaels. This is Pamper Chef, child. This is just a, a roller. And I got these from Joann's. I actually like these. They're metallic pencils. They're very pretty. I don't use them often, but I do use these and I like them. Over here, I just have some individual Posca pens. I'm a little bit of a hoarder, as most of you already know. Some of them are open, some of them are not. They're different sizes. And I even have some metallic markers from the Dollar Tree. I believe I have silver and gold. And I just keep them in this little clay pot that I painted. Um, the next set of colored pencils that I have are the Mark Art 48 set. Um, each of these tins have beautiful pencils in them, but I'm just not all that great with using the colored pencils with the blending and the shading. I'm trying to learn, but I bought them to have them. And honestly, I've only used them very, very minimally. like hardly at all. Okay, so the next set of pencils that I have are Arteza, the 48 count. 
These also came from Amazon and also the Castle Art. These are all beautiful pencils. Um, I can't give you a review on them because I don't really use them. And I also got these from Amazon. Um, these are watercolor markers. I've only used these a few times. These came from Michaels. Honestly, I don't know if I don't like them or if I just don't know how to use them. I actually like using um, the water the water brush where you put the water inside of the brush and you just use watercolors. I like using that better. Um, I got this little container from my local Dollar Tree. I have a couple of them. You just unscrew it. But these are just budget friendly. Um, did I spell metallic wrong? <laughs> metallic pencils. I don't care what you guys say. They're my pencils. <laughs> So that's what's in there. Um, I really like that container. And these are just extra refills for my metallic gel pens that I have. And over here are the replacement papers for diamond painting. You guys know I always say it wrong. But these are the sheets that you put down um, on your diamond painting to cover up the sticky parts. I use this. They have two different um, sizes and I got those from Amazon also. And here are basically their highlighters. And let me see here. Midliners, I can't see. Oh, zip, zebra midliners. I got these from Sam's Club. Really good price. I like them a lot. I use them for my, um, bullet journaling um they're double ended so it's like a chisel and then a fine tip i like those a lot and then i'll come down here and these are my cover minders that i have that i have gotten from different um diamond painting companies or i've done myself like i did poo i did piglet and uh tigger and this one I had to DIY because the tail broke off. So I just put the pom-pom, glued the pom-pom on the back of it. So those are my cover minders. And then on the second shelf, you have where I have my alcohol markers. You should really lay them on their sides so they don't tend to dry out so fast. Um, the alcohol markers I personally purchased are not very expensive. They're not like a hoo hoo. And I think there's another brand that's pretty expensive. That's not what these are. These ones here are Banyo, if I'm not mistaken. And then I have Cali Art. And if you are like me and you're not really seriously like an expert or anything like this with all this coloring, I would say stay more on the end of budget friendly that are good products. The Cali Art are good. They're good. And there's another brand. If you guys know, it begins with a T, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have those, but I hear those are really good too. This is just some stuff that's supposed to make slime for Samaya. She hated, we, we used it once. She didn't like it. We never did it again. Um, these are fine tip markers that I use in my bullet journaling. And I got those from Amazon. These cute little pots I got on clearance at Michael's. And in the back here, these are just extra gel pens from the Dollar Tree. I would use these for things like my spiroglyphic coloring books because it takes so much ink. I don't want to use my really good gel pens. And I got these from the Dollar General. And it's just extra black gel pens because you go through them so fast. Um, up front here are alcohol markers from the five below. Four dollars. You get 18 markers. It dries out. You can toss it away. I mean, it was four bucks. I use them. They're fine. I would use these in books that are more like, let's see, the color quest, color by the number, things like that. I wouldn't use them in more of my more expensive or fancier coloring books, 
But yeah, I would just use them in those and they work perfectly fine. You see, I have two packs and I probably have a third around here somewhere. Um, in the back here, I hope you guys can see. These are my oil pastels from Crayola. I got these from Joy and Fabrics. They look like crayons. I love these. And then these, um, what is this, Artist Loft. And I think Artist Loft is, uh, is that Joanne or is that Michaels? I think Artist Loft is Michaels. I bought these so long ago, years ago, but they're chalk pastels, really, really nice. I like these. And then getting down here on the floor, um, there's some more of my cover minders. I did the Halloween ones. These were like little buttons. And I just put the magnets on the back and I also did the octopus one. So cute. Have some more Cali Art markers here. I like those and that's why I have two. Um, just to have them just in case they run out. I know you can add alcohol to them. I haven't done that. So I do have two and I can honestly say with my alcohol markers, I do not believe I've spent more than $40. So these are really nice. Um, down here in the bottom, this little tin I got from Amazon. Oh, did I say the markers came from Amazon? They did. But this little tin, it's like um, a sewing clips for sewing, but that's not what I, I can't get it open now. <laughs> this video was a mess. Um, but I use them for my diamond painting. So if the diamond painting is really big, I just roll it up and I put clips on it. I don't know how many came in here, maybe a hundred. And I think that you were really paying for the tin, but it, it all came, I think it was like seven, eight bucks. They do, they can break, but there's like a hundred in here or so. So I've had this for a while and you see I haven't even gone halfway through them. Um, back here are some twistables that I have not used. I have not colored with crayons, y'all. I see people say, oh, I did this with crayons. I'm like, for real? I have not colored with crayons yet. Um, the other one is the Color of the World markers. There's three sets in here and you can see all the colors here. And I got that from Michaels. Um, these are gel pens here. I have bought several sets, $5, five below. They're perfectly fine. You get gel, I'm sorry. You get glitter, metallic, uh, the pastels, and then just the regular gel pens in here. They're very nice, very nice. I would highly recommend those. These, no. No, no, no. These came from Walmart, and you guys know how I feel about Walmart. But yes, these came from Walmart, and I can honestly say, even though they weren't expensive, this is probably in the top three things I wish I would not have purchased. Because they are, they're double-ended, they're very pretty, they're very pretty, but the tips of them like separate, shed, shred, I don't know. And when I would do my color by the numbers for Disney, they could seep through and these are supposed to be water-based. So I didn't really like that. Now these came from the Dollar Tree and the only reason why I bought them is because just in case I was in a situation that I ran out of a color, I would just say no big deal. I would just come grab one of these. So I bought two. Um, the next thing, sorry. The next thing I have are my Posca pens, Posca markers. They're paint pens. And I bought two different sizes. As you can see, now these are kind of expensive. I will have to admit, these are kind of expensive. I did buy them and I bought the two because Joanne's was having a sale. I think it was like buy one, get one half off. And then you could use whatever coupon on top of that. And literally I bought the last two. So I wasn't the only one who was thinking, get them. I like them a lot. I actually love them. I don't uh, use them as much because they were so expensive. So I really use them on pages that um, 
I feel like they should be used on. Like I would not use these on um, a Dollar Tree book or anything like that. Uh, the last thing is my little, this better not fall, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> is my um, label maker. Yes, I love this thing. I use this all the time. I label my diamond paintings with this. I label other things with this. I got it off Amazon. It's amazing. I love it. Um, it's just great. I have the tape that goes inside here. I have several of them because I can run out of it. That's how much I use it. I love this thing. And it's a Dymo and it's on Amazon. So that is what's in my cart. You guys let me know what you think. If you have any questions, just put it in the comment section for me, please. If you stay to the end, just leave me a crayon emoji. I don't know if it's a box or if it's just one, but just leave me a crayon emoji if you did stay to the end. Um, thank you so much to um, Chelsea for sharing her um, cart tour. I'll make sure that I put um, a link to it in my description box also. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>